All right, let's get real and honest for a little while. Yes, I totally need to CYA as a mobile online librarian. And what does that mean? Really what that means is that I need to make sure that if someone ever came to me and asked for my hours or needed to see what my work was, that I was able to, you know, cover my... And I'm not really worried about that in my particular location. At Coastline, I am active, I'm here enough, like I have never once had that issue. But I might have worked at another place where there was a little bit more micromanaging, or maybe some of you have seen that. And it comes down to how do you show that you're doing the work you're doing? Because let's be honest, sometimes you have <laughs> deans that maybe don't believe you. So, uh, so for me, what do I do is number one, I do have very particular hours. I keep track of my hours. I, my supervisor has, uh, has access to those hours. I try to follow the, you know, normal business hours when most people are around. When I physically am at a location um, at one of our colleges, I keep those hours. It just kind of helps with that stuff. But in the time right now where we're doing a little bit more remote work, I just make sure that I'm available when people need me and doing those kinds of things. I mentioned previously that part of how I organize work is through Monday.com. My dean is one of the administrators on Monday.com and very much can see all of the library projects. I am never worried that they're not able to see all the work we're doing. And as I mentioned in the last video, that I do send my dean updates. And so those updates are always positive. Like I call them library awesomeness updates. I try to send them like once or twice a week. I mean, I apologize, every week or every two weeks. And it really is just statistics about this many students have completed the library workshop or if I've been, if I've published something in the CCL newsletter or anything like that. It really is kind of this idea of when you're working remotely, I just want to be prepared in case anyone ever asks, which truthfully no one has ever asked, but you know, knock on wood or something, I'm going to be ready if they do. Also, another thing to think about is when you work remotely and you're keeping track of your hours, you might find, like I did, that I was working way too many hours. And so that is another thing to consider where you want to make sure you're working the hours you're getting paid for or that maybe in your contract you have something like we have called in lieu of hours and you can negotiate times off at different for different things. So it's really important to do that. And also I'm in the, um, an interesting, maybe a unique position, maybe not, where I am the library chair and I do have a dean that oversees me who's very um, flexible and great. But I am also, you can't say the word supervise, but I'm coordinating the part-time librarian's work. And part of that coordination is also not approving their time cards, but verifying their time cards. And so I also have to find a way to CYA for them. And so we have created a system where I very much am checking that. And so based on that, we have certain hours we work, I see different projects they work on, and I'm able to, without a doubt, approve their time and make sure that they get paid, not approve, verify their time so that they can get their paycheck. And it is interesting um, being an online library and being potentially being a mobile librarian moving around. Um, and I kind of planned for that when I first started working here is I very much wanted to be completely transparent and have no problem with that and, and have allowed administration access to all of those records. And they have found that they, they don't need to worry about me. So that's pretty cool. So that is something to consider in an online library is how you as a librarian will CYA just in case you need to.